Hey, and thanks for checking out another Sunbear Specialty Coffee Roasters video. Today I will be sharing about a couple of the things that my Ranchilio Silvia I have uh, done to it. Uh, things that I've done to upgrade it a little bit and just make it a little better because I was getting kind of weak results in the beginning. And so today I'm going to talk about a couple of the things that I've done. I've been a part of a Facebook group that's really helped me a lot and uh, several of their recommendations that I've done to my machine I'm going to try and show you today. Plus another little trick. The first thing I realized is that I was getting too many bars of pressure to my machine. I didn't realize that it was set up for who knows how many bars. I didn't test it at that level, but it was extremely strong, which I just assumed was a good thing. But then when I would put uh, shots in here, uh, it would just kind of come pouring out no matter what quality of uh, coffee I had. And so I immediately started thinking that the problem was my Barazza uh, set to 270. Um, because I wasn't sure if it was exactly fine enough uh, for the espresso for the Ranchilio or not. Didn't know if it was maybe my beans or what. And so I, I kept trying uh, different things with my grinder. And now basically I'm pretty sure my grinder is fine. And the problem all along was my Ranchilio uh, was just set way too high coming in. And so today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how you can test the pressure on here and maybe dial that back. Things that you will need uh, to do this uh, operation to your Ranchilio. Just a Phillips head screwdriver, and you can take these off here. The Ranchilio is really not too difficult to work on. It's one of the things I've figured out so far that it's, it's pretty basic and easy, and uh, it just kind of makes sense. All the instructions that I've heard so far. Um, make sure you keep your screws in a place where you're gonna be able to get back to them uh, pretty easily. Even if you have something magnetic, you want to take this uh, water tray lid off in the back. And then for the time being, you're going to remove this out. Um, you can take the water completely out and just set it aside. You will be needing that in a little while. Um, and then I've got one screw kind of holding on here. I'm going to take that out. And this guy should come popping right out. Yeah. Okay, as you will see here, there's two hoses. One is longer than the other one. The hose that we need to work with today for the sake of checking the pressure on the Ranchilio is this short one, okay? So that's the one you wanna do. Sit this uh, somewhere to the side um, for right now because we will need the water still. But what you wanna do is take off your metal lid, put it aside. And you're going to place your water back inside um, because this long hose you want to go back in it's actually going to take the water the short one i'm actually going to put my metal tray uh, up here kind of sort of diagonally because what i want to do is show you how you can weigh the water as it's coming out it's going to be this is called an opv valve basically what it does um, is shows you the amount of pressure that you have in uh, your Ranchilio Sylvia. Um, so what you're going to aim for is on the OPV valve, if you turn this on, it'll spit a little bit out and then it's you basically start counting at that point. But what you wanna track is the amount of cc's or mils, um, milliliters per uh, 30 seconds. So every 30 seconds you should have about, I believe it's 130, let me look real quick. 130 uh, milligrams uh, or cc of water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh my water and then I'll show you how to adjust it. So I'm gonna put this guy up here. I'm gonna tape this down where we can leave it alone and I can turn my machine on and run my machine and we can see what kind of results we get. Goal here is to weigh uh, my, my uh, mill coming out of this. I'm gonna weigh it. Oh, basically the same as grams like I would do a coffee. So for every um, 130 grams basically, it should be in about 30 seconds, um, which is kind of right about like you would do a shot, you know? You wanna do about the same thing with that. So I just used, this is actually aluminum tape, it's super strong, uh, works really good just to tape that down. I'm gonna weigh um, with my scale here the amount of water that is coming out when I turn on uh, this water valve here on the Ranchilio. So I've got my machine on 
and it really is not hard to test it at all. It really just kind of pours in there. You don't have to wait a lot of time for it to heat up. Just what you want to do is make sure that your uh, scale is teared out. Okay, so make sure you get your scale teared out, that a little bit of water has already come out of there. And then we're gonna go ahead and start both of them. As you can see, water is pouring into there. I've got my grams counting over here. I'm up to 25, I'm on eight seconds. So at 30 seconds is where I'm gonna stop it. And I'm gonna see if I got, what, 130 or more, whether it's more or less, basically. Okay, so at 30 seconds, I have 103-ish, 104.9, so that is less. So basically what that means is I still have a higher pressure than what it, uh, nine bars of pressure would be. Nine, nine bars of pressure is going to be kind of what I, I think most consider optimal for this. So 130 cc's equals nine bars of pressure. So now I'm gonna show you how to adjust it and let's try this test again. All right, so the next thing that we have to do is adjust this valve in here. It is this one right here, as you can see. There's two bolts on there, and we have to adjust both of them. Um, I don't have the, uh, I think they're recommended normally to use um, metric, but I don't have metric on me. So I've just got this regular kind of wrench, uh, adjustable wrench, and then I've got, uh, let's see, an 11 16th, I think it is. 13 sixteenths seems to fit kind of perfect um, as far as I can tell. So you need basically one to hold it in place and you need the other to adjust it. Okay. Okay. So step one, I'm just going to reach in here with this and adjust this guy. We're going to go left to loosen and you'll just feel it kind of Loosen up a little bit there. And at that point, we're gonna use this as a guide to hold in place. You can kind of move it back towards finger tight. And you see right there, just a little loose, but not too much. That is a little hot, by the way. So then at that point, if you hold that guy in place, I just have something there to hold it in place. You can use this one, come in here and loosen this one up, okay? So if you loosen this one up, that is going to create less pressure on your OPV valve. Less, or less pressure coming out for your shot. So we're aiming more for somewhere between nine, 10. Basically, it's, it's, it's an adjustment to see what kind of pressure you want for your shots. Okay, and then at that point, what you want to do, you want to hold this one in place as you re-tighten this guy down, because you do not want uh, it to move back to the position that you just took it away from. So we're going to do that, tighten it back down. It's not super, super tight, but just tighten up. There you go. And at that point, we're ready to do our test again. Uh, not a lot has changed. I didn't even really turn the machine off or anything because uh, nothing that I'm touching is really um, a big problem or anything. So at that point, we're ready to test our water one more time. Do the same thing you did before. Take the short OPV valve back out, place it up here, put your tape back in place or whatever you have um, to kind of hold that in place. Turn your scale on. We're gonna wait for a little water to come out first. Okay, tear your scale again. And then you're gonna hit start. And we're rolling again, and we'll see what, what we're at now that I've adjusted it. 10 seconds, we're about at 40 something and it should be about 120. And I'm 
just going to stop it at 30 seconds. Okay, 130. So we're basically almost right on nine bars now at that point. So now I'm going to hook it back up and probably save this for another video to show you what the shot looks like. I'm going to go ahead and remove my water tray back out of here. Put it aside. Place your metal lid back over. Uh, reinsert your water. Like I said, this is all super easy. You want to go ahead and put both of these hoses back down. Um, make sure you got enough water in there. Obligatory cleaning as you go. And then we're just going to put our screws back in place. So that is it. That's how you adjust the OPV valve on your Ranchilio Silvia. The little cup trick was just something I thought of. Um, I hope that works well for you. Maybe you'll think of something else. If you do, like, uh, put it in the comments underneath and maybe we'll find a different thing that'll help somebody else like this one helped me. I'll try and include the link as well to the page on Ranchilio's site that helps you with the specifications for this adjustment. Have a good day. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to our videos and we appreciate you watching our videos. Have a great day.